Hello everyone, in today's video, we will be solving this question from the year 2014. So question says, there's a sphere of radius r which is moving with a velocity u in an idle fluid which is incompressible and non-viscous. So our fluid is having a zero viscosity. So we have to find the pressure distribution over that sphere and we have to check whether a force is necessary to keep the sphere in a uniform motion. So let's move ahead. So this is a flow pattern of a fluid around the sphere. And if we plot the fluid velocity over the surface of sphere so we find a symmetrical curve when we are at 0 degree that means if we are at the front point our velocity is 0 and if we are at theta 180 which is a rare point our velocity is zero. So these two points, that is front point and the rear points, are called the stagnation points. Because here the fluid velocity V is zero, as you can see from these two points. Our velocity is maximum at the 90 degree that means here you can see here we are plotting v square upon v naught square here we are taking v naught and p naught be the velocity and pressure of free streamlined flow So that means at 90 degree our velocity is 2.25 v naught square. So this is maximum at this point and you can see in the flow pattern because the, the lines are closer here. Let's find the pressure over the sphere. So now using the Bernoulli's equation. let's take the any two points let's say one is here and one is near the sphere these are the two points and now we are applying the Bernoulli's here the pressure is P naught and velocity is V naught and here the velocity is P and V so this will become P plus half rho V square is equal to P naught plus half rho V naught square at front and the rear points where the velocity is zero these are the stagnation points so let's put the value this will go to zero so this is zero p naught plus half p v naught square so this is p is equal to p naught plus half rho v naught square so the pressure at the front and rear are equal but opposite in direction so this p minus p naught is half rho v naught square so this will become delta p the pressure difference is half rho v naught square we can divide it by half rho v naught square so this will become 1 so, so this value is 1. Similarly, same value is for the rear point. Now let's find for the right angle point. For right angle point, where velocity square is 2.25, V 
v naught square that means it is 9 over 4 v naught square so, so using the same Bernoulli's equation that is p plus half rho v square is equal to p naught plus half rho v naught square let's put the value for v square so that means it is 9 over 4 v naught square this is p naught plus half rho v naught square so let's take the and taking the common half rho v naught square this is 1 minus 9 over 4 so this p minus p naught is half rho v naught square so this is minus 5 by 4 and this is delta p is equal to half rho v naught square it is minus 1.25 so delta p over half rho v naught square is equal to minus 1.25 so this is a pressure at the right angle points so you can see here so it's minus 1.25 delta p over half rho v square so these are same along this vertical line so so there is a symmetrical distribution around the sphere you can see the plot here we have plot this delta p over half rho v naught square with theta so this is plus one plus one at the front and rear points and this is minus 1.25 at the 90 degree so this is a symmetrical distribution that means so the net pressure over the sphere is zero because this is cancelling this and this is cancelling this so because of this symmetrical distribution there will be cancellations and we get the net pressure to be zero so that means the resultant force force is zero which means there is no drag so second part so a force is necessary to keep the sphere in a uniform motion so for uniform motion our acceleration should be zero that means the velocity is not changing with time we know force is mass into acceleration so if acceleration is zero that means the net force should be zero on the sphere so the resultant force must be zero in order to keep that body in a uniform motion so we need a net force to be zero so this is the solution for this question if you have any doubts related to this question you can write me in the comment box and if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video